Hi y'all, welcome back to Who Intends Crafts, where wings fly free, just like our imagination. So today is Tuesday. So sorry for shaking you. And I'm going to call it Tea Time Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to stay, but I have some tea to spill. <laughs> so um, yesterday I talked a little bit about our blood work results and um, there's a lot of things that I need to change. I'm pre-diabetic, so I want to like, you know, change a lot of things up. Mr. Hoot, uh, that's my husband, his name is Jeff. For those of you that don't know, we call him Mr. Hoot around here. Um, his cholesterol was like through the roof. So I want to start planning our meals out for the week and, you know, changing a lot of things. So. Um, I'm going to do groceries this, this week, Friday, I'll do the groceries, um, when Jeff's off, we'll actually go out and do it. So, I thought, you know what, let me plan ahead of time. So I'm going to go on Pinterest, and I'm going to look up a whole bunch of different meals, and like, you know, write a lot, uh, plan things out, so that way I have a good game plan, and then I get my grocery list and just, you know, that. So, on top of all of that, which is really good trying to get healthier, even though, like, I already feel like I eat like a rabbit. Let me straighten you out. So sorry. Um, my kids, they're on the chunk side, which I don't care. I love my babies. Um, Aiden, I said before, he has aut autism. Autism can go two ways health-wise. Um, you can have high metabolism to where you're a stick and you can't gain. Or it can be where you have low metabolism and you're a little chunky butt. And that is my boy, unfortunately. Um, he has super low metabolism because he's so hyper. Like, not like hyper where it's like, oh my goodness, boy, sit down. I mean, he has like high ball energy. He's all day long up and down the steps, always doing things, always outside playing. You know, I wish I had that energy. The things I could do if I had that boy's energy. Like, he had me up early this morning. He's already, like, nonstop going. And, like, that's why I took the doctor. And the doctor goes, it's just because of this. Like, you know, he doesn't have, like, other than him being chunky, like, other, well, the autism, but other, like, serious health issues you know um sorry <laughs> and yeah so but Lissy unfortunately she has thyroidism like me my mom had it my grandma had had it um I never knew it could run in the family but it, it does and I was so worried about that I was so worried but I had it sky high um being pregnant and never knew and so I guess that's why she got an Aiden mite I have to get his blood checked I'm so sorry I, and I hate popping it <laughs> but um yeah I have to get his blood checked my eyes look brown today oh there they go they look green oh they look kind of like that was sunflower sorry I'm like a cat I get distracted <laughs> but anyway um yeah so I just thought well you know what not that we, they pig out. They don't. I mean, yeah, I said eating gets a happy meal, but it's not like every single day, but it truly isn't. It's only like once a week. And he deserves it, my boy. He goes through so much. And don't think I don't get my girly stuff. <laughs> Shit, my baby. But anyway, um, yeah, so I really want to do things. And then Sandy um, got me into a car oh, yeah, carnivore site. Yeah, carnivore. Sorry, I was thinking carnival, <laughs> uh, where they eat only meat. Now, I'm, I'm not saying that's what she was doing. Uh, she was just sharing it uh, with me for, like, meat ideas. But I was looking at this lady, and I f was watching her on YouTube last night. Like, I don't even know how I'm awake right now. I was up late watching this. And all she eats is meat, but she eats fat meat. Like, she says, the fattier, the better. Like, you gotta get, like, steaks with, like, all that fat in it. Um, pork. And I'm like, like, 
and her I guess her cholesterol is like through the roof but it's healthy I don't know I gotta look into that more but um she lost a lot of weight I mean a lot of weight and she'll do like eggs I think no vegetables I think it's like zero vegetables which it was a shocker because don't you need vegetables to live I don't know I don't know but I don't think I can do that I knew I can't do that one I love my vegetables I would eat more veggies over a meat eh. yeah over a meat like I would have like a, a nice piece of meat but more vegetables on my plate than I need meat too but I don't know I was thinking maybe Jeff but then I'm worried about the cholesterol so I'm going to be looking into that more so on top of making my did I tell you what make my little bags maybe not I don't remember. I'll tell you again in case I didn't. So, um, a while ago, uh, Gabin Grammy, which I have to check on her because I don't think I've seen a video for, of her in a while. She got me hooked on Tina Thedorian. I'm so sorry. Tina something. But, um, she got me hooked on, she makes mosaic crochet. And I if you haven't tried it you need to now this is in the round which is super easy and super mindless so I found this bag the other day and it is my stitch and then there's a mosaic crochet so I have a little keychain that I made from the Cricut it's cardstock and then the vinyl and then I um, epoxied it so I'm going to do that. But then I thought, you know what? Those are mindless. And to try to get my mind like, you know, into working again and doing things because I just don't have no motivation. Like I seriously, every little thing I do, I mess up on. Like yesterday I sat there at my desk for hours with my Cricut trying to make these earrings that I've made before. And I just messed up. And I was like, all right, off the bed I go. And then I try to crochet and I just couldn't like I don't know what is going on I just couldn't do it like my mind just couldn't focus or anything so I just thought well this is pretty mindless I'm gonna do them and then I'll just put them on my Etsy as like notion bags or makeup bags someone have little characters someone have like flowers and things like that because we all know I love my Disney so I have to have characters on there but yeah so anyway back to um, the mills and planning and stuff I want to on top of doing this I want to do my mill planning so I got this really beautiful planner from Plum Paper and I am telling you like if you love planning or even if you don't but you're trying to lose weight it is very crucial to track your mills I learned this over time because I have a nutritionist and it is um, why it's so important is okay if you ate something and you lost weight great but then all of a sudden you gained a pound and you're like what did I do you can go back and track okay this is what I ate this maybe it's this and and then you know figure it out so that's why it's good to keep a track of everything you can write it down or you can download an app I have an app I think it's called lose it and I love it I love this app it has barcodes in it it has pretty much like all types of foods that you could just type in it gives you like cups or how much of it that you ate you know you could type it in and that way it tracks everything and then say like you want to lose like five pounds you could put I want to lose five pounds then it will tell you how many calories you have to eat in a day to be able to lose the five pounds by such and such 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 and such time say that 10 times fast so yeah so that's what um, I'm gonna do uh, sorry my mind I was telling you I'm like a cat my mind just goes so oh sorry I had to turn so that's what I'm gonna do um, I start tracking I've been tracking my things for a while now. I'm maintaining and I'm so frustrated. Like when I tell you I eat like a rabbit, I eat like a freaking rabbit. Like lots of vegetables. Um, you know, and I'll switch it up 
some from time to time and you know because you got to keep it switched otherwise you know eating the same thing every single day you just maintain oh i'm doing anyway but which i guess it's good you're not gaining but i want to lose like i came this far i want to lose more so yeah i want to put the tracker on uh mr hoot's phone so this is plum paper i'm going to turn it a little bit because I don't think I could flip it. Can I? No. Let me see. Okay, cancel. Nope, I can't flip it. So let's see. Can you see it good? Wait, there we go. So this is called plum paper. It gives you all the months, which I'm just going to. Look, I planned. Don't give up. <laughs> and you can just, I'm going to like plan my meals. Um, I'm trying to get to the back. Look, look how cute this is. I don't know if you could see. It has. Let me try to hold it up for you. Look how cute this is. It has meal planning so you can like plan all your meals then she put in here like I'm so sorry so then she put in here you put what you want but um there's a shopping list oh, I said shopping there's a shopping list where you can like write down what you want for the month or for the week if you do monthly shopping or weekly shopping whatever you write it everything down then there's like in the back building balance and it teaches you how to um, you know what's a good carb a healthy fat vegetables things like that then there's the substitute um, like an egg substitute um, butter flour lemon juice buttermilk like how to substitute things if you don't have it in your cabinet or how to make it um, like other substitutions like baking powder I was out of baking powder the other day and here it says half a teaspoon cream, cream of tartar and one teaspoon baking soda and it makes bacon powder and I had no clue and I thought that's so cool um and I have lots of cream of tartar is it tartar or tartar I'm gonna say tartar so yeah but in bacon one teaspoon baking soda equals three teaspoons bacon powder so It just teaches you like little things and you add what you want in it. So that is called Plum Paper. Plumpaper.com. And look how thick this is. You put your monthly tabs in. You can customize it. I have JM. You can customize whatever you want. And it's just, I love it. Like, I love it. So I'm going to write down all of my meals. Oh, I have YouTube in there. You get, to, you get to customize your pages how you want for your day. Like um, if you're into planning, you could put like YouTube and then you could put down below like what you want to put on your channel, all types of things. And even like buy like little YouTube stickers, all of that. So if you're into planning, check out Plum Paper. You're going to love it. Um, I'm telling you, and the paper is nice. It's supposed to be like no, no rip or something. They know she knows what she's doing with this plum plate, plum paper. I I'm telling you, um, but yeah, it's it's not your ones from Michaels for sure. From Michaels, it's nice, you know, it's easy to pick and it's affordable. Not that this isn't, but the only thing is you just get boxes of like your days and then you have to write in there this actually gives you like what you want like if you actually want it to look like a sheet of paper or like list whatever you get to customize it and make it to your liking and I love that so I have all my little stickers Ugh. you can see it says like spending tracker and all types of stuff meal planning and like all types of things so I'm gonna have fun today I have my fancy little pens and yeah 
I'm going to plan out some meals. So with losing weight, it is really important to plan out your meals for the week and to prep. Like get everything so that way you, your mind's not, not going. Because otherwise, like say you like had a busy day, and if you have a busy day, have um, that ready. Like, um, okay, for example, we have a busy day, I'll have frozen pizzas. I do cauliflower crust pizzas, and so I'll have that ready that I could just pop in the oven, put some pepperoni or whatever that I want on it, and there, you know, there you go. Um, for the kids, if they want that, or regular pizza, or something easy, you know, that way you're not trying to spend money on takeout, and then, you know, you throw all your hard work away because you're putting bad food in your body or whatever. Um... So, yeah, sorry, distracted. Uh, something was, there's like a glitter sticker from my vinyl and the thing, and I was trying to pick it off. Whew. Oh, boy, I apologize. I'm so sorry about that. But, so, yeah, it's very important for when you're trying to, like, lose weight, or not even just lose weight, just eat healthier and keep things to track it. At first, it was a hassle. I was like, oh, are you kidding me? But then once I got into tracking, I was like, huh, this this is why you do it. Like, I like this. Um, you just write down everything. Or like I said, on the phone, get a little tracker um, where it calculates everything for you. Like, all the calories. And they even have, like, a keto one, which I think Lose It does keto. Like, you could put, like, um, but I'm not up on the micros. My cousin, oh my goodness, my cousin on my dad's side, she was bigger, and I could say she was big, and she did keto, and she looks amazing. She's like this tiny little thing now, and she's all from doing keto, like, but she was a strickler for it, and she did, like, counting the micro, ma macros, I wanted to do that but it was so like it's confusing like what and I'm already confused with stuff and so I do what's called dirty keto <laughs> where you're doing keto but you're not like you're counting <gasps> you scared me these cats broke off this and now it won't go back in oh uh, think then big keys all right Stony hopped in it oh uh, her whole body was in flower oh my goodness What's all over your face? What? Blue. Oh, alright. I'll, I'll come down when mommy's done and I'll fix it. Okay, buddy? Thank you. Done. Aw, thank you, babe. Them kittens. Ooh, they're so playful. And now they're getting into everything. Like, we have, like, these flower vases downstairs. Fake flowers, of course, but then like jumping in it. I'm like, kittens. Ugh. I tell myself, you're not gonna save no more kittens. You're just not gonna do it. And then what do I do? I see kittens. I have to save it. And then I can't sleep until it's in here, and I'm saving it. And then I'm finding a home for it. I don't know, but anyway, yes. Yeah, so she lost a lot of weight doing the keto and. I mean, she looks amazing. Amazing. And so, um, I'm going to try to keep looking to see if you see my grays. It just looks like blonde. I wish. But no, it's grays. Whoa. <laughs> I got to get my hair dyed. But anyway, yeah. So, that's what, that's what I'm doing. And that's the tea for Tea Time Tuesday. Uh... Again, that is called Plum Paper, in case you want to, you know, look it up and order one for yourself, plumpaper.com. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if Mr. Hoot was here, he would have had a field day with that one. So, P-L-U-M, paper, like, you know, a plum. Uh, so look that up and like I said you don't have to do this I just like to be able to map down you know the mills and so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go on Pinterest handy dandy Pinterest I love it and 
Also, what I do is I'll go on Pinterest and I'll see like this meal and then I'll look it up on YouTube and see how somebody liked it and if, you know, they lost weight with it or something like that. So that way I can get like the, you know, full info out of everything and that way I'm not like hurting ourselves with things. So Mr. Hoot's going to be in for it. <laughs> And he's so spiteful. Oh, so the other day, like, he was getting really dizzy because he's on new medication. And I'm like, you need to drink water. Um, because all he loves is, like, turkey hill tea, which is so bad for you. And he'll drink, I mean, he drinks water at work, but he doesn't drink enough of it. And yeah, you know, this has come from the water hating queen right here. I hate water. I could do a, like, crystal light in it or some flavor, but I, I can't do plain water. So I'm here like, you, he's like about to get a drink. I said, no, you're lightheaded, you're drinking water. So I filled up um, a cup of water and ice and I'm like, here, drink it. He goes, oh, oh, okay. So he took my drink away and gave me a cup of water. I was like, uh-uh, I'm not the one lightheaded. <laughs> oh, I'm going to bash his face in. He gets on my nerves. I love him and hate him all at once. <laughs> He's a punk, but I made him drink it. And then afterwards, he goes, I feel good. I said, mm-hmm. Told you. He's a brat. He's a brat. So, alrighty. I'm going to get out of here. I hope you all are having a hooterific day. Um... So far, so good for me. I woke up with a lot of pain, but it's easing up now. So, yeah. I don't care. I'm going to keep going. I'm really going to try to get these bags. and But first, I'm going to be planning some meals. And getting, getting that done. So, if you have any meals that are like keto friendly or cholesterol free friendly... Let me know, please. Make my life easy. No, I'm just kidding. But I would appreciate it because I love sharing recipes. I really do. Oh, that hurt my back. Oh, so gloomy out today. So I hope you all are having a hooterific day. I hope you have an amazing day today. I truly do. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'll keep Tea Time Tuesday always, but hey, it's for today because I spilled some tea. Not juicy tea, just uh, what I'm going to be doing. Maybe next time there'll be some juicy tea. <laughs> I'll like check out a crochet group and like spill some tea from there. Like, ooh, this person said this and this person said, ooh, don't get your knitting in a bunch. <laughs> oh, we should do that. We should have some like live action tea spilling. That'd be fun. Um... Alrighty, let me get out of here because I'm pr procrastinating. I want to do this, but at the same time, my mind's telling me, just relax. <laughs> Don't do it. But yeah, let me get downstairs, see what this trouble butt's doing down there and get everything done. So again, hope you have a hooter day. Who went to now? Bye.